uh, respected uh, Dr. Sinha, the Honorable Chief Guest of today's function, uh, Mr. Prakash Kumhare, my colleague, my other colleagues from Neri, younger boys and girls from different educational institutions in Nagpur, ladies and gentlemen. Some people get Nobel Prize and there are some people who are Nobel. We have a chief guest today who is really Nobel. Like very rarely you come across a human being who has achieved such excellence in life and still with endowed with the kind of modesty which he displayed this morning. I was really impressed, of course. And I am sure the, my younger colleagues who interacted with him when, during the exhibition time, they must have really enjoyed the time they spent with our chief guest. The, indirectly, this was our internal human resources development program and we directly exposed our younger talent to the chief guest so that they learn some, something from the magnanimous personality they encountered today. And we succeeded quite a bit because chief guest by coming back he was he informed me that we have a talented younger generation with us who could defend their exhibits so professionally before him. And while at the back of this interaction, I was getting impressed with the enormous knowledge which our chief guest possesses on many environmental issues down to the genomics level for an atomic physicist or an atomic engineer to have that kind of biological knowledge is really great. So on behalf of uh, our director, Dr. Rakesh Kumar, who wanted to be really here, he was so eager, but somehow it was some medical compulsions which couldn't bring him here. On his behalf, on my own behalf, on behalf of the whole institute, I welcome you, sir, for this important day called National Technology Day. And uh, Saswati has introduced him only briefly. I will tell you the real biodata which he possesses. But before that, some words of wisdom on technology. It is said that technology is his useful servant, but a dangerous master. Karna is smiling. What Steve Jobs has said that what is important is that you have a faith in people, that they are basically good and smart, and if you give them tools, they will do wonderful things with them. This is Steve Jobs' remarks. And like our chief guest today, there was a narrator and a co author of the award winning 1980 television series Cosmos, a personal voice that Carl Edward Sagan, I don't know how many of you have heard his name, he was an American astronomer, cosmologist, astrophysicist, astrobiologist, and science communicator. He has published more than 600 scientific papers and articles and was author, co-author, or editor of more than 20 books. However, he writes about technology, what he writes about technology is very interesting. He says we live in a society, we live in a society exquisitely dependent on science and technology in which hardly anyone knows anything about science and technology. This is Carl Sagan. I am not saying that this is Carl Sagan. Okay? What ultimately has happened is that we have become the tools of our tools. What is the inter intersection between technology, art and science? Most probably curiosity and wonder because they drive us to explore more and more. 
today's trend, whether good, bad or indifferent, is that if you are not investing in new technology, you are going to be left behind. Very important for us. However, all our technology and the inventions that make modern life so much easier than it once was, it takes just one big natural or man-made disaster to wipe all that away. Just one would be sufficient to take the technology to heaven. And there is one practical management problem. And that is that technology changes all the time. Technology changes all the time, but human nature hardly ever. Technology changes all the time, but human nature hardly ever. And the real problem today is not whether machines think, but whether men do work. So we have Dr. Ratan Kumar Sinha, who is widely known by the name R.K. Sinha, an Indian nuclear scientist who is an Indian nuclear scientist and basically a mechanical engineer. He had served as a secretary to the Government of India, Department of Atomic Energy and Chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission from April 2012 to October 2015. Prior to that, Dr. Sinha had served as Director of Bhava Atomic Research Center, BRC, Mumbai from May 2010 to 2012 and during his four decades of illustrious career, Dr. Sinha held several important positions related to design and development of nuclear reactors for the Indian nuclear program. He has been actively involved in the development of advanced heavy water reactor and compact high temperature reactor CSTR. Two of the highly acknowledged technological innovations which are suitable for large-scale deployment of nuclear power, particularly in Indian scenario. As Chairman, Atomic Energy Commission and Secretary DAE, Dr. Sinha had put special thrust on several key deliverables for sustainable development and deployment of nuclear energy. Major thrust areas in continuation to his research at BRC include advanced nuclear energy systems for thorium utilization and accelerator technology. He had given high priority to application of radiation technology in the areas of healthcare, management, agriculture, food preservation and water purification. Water purification. There are many overlaps and intersections between Department of uh, Atomic Energy and NIR is working also. We, we are just trying to explore the possibilities of collaboration in various areas. I think on the same note, he was interacting with many of our younger scientists today. He had also strengthened outreach activities of DAE for spreading awareness about the peaceful usage of atomic energy among the general public. He had been instrumental in kick-starting several public outreach campaigns to present the human face of India's nuclear capabilities. Under his leadership, DAE displayed its first ever W in the, six, in the 66th Republic Day Parade 2015 and had launched its social media page on Facebook as a part of public outreach initiatives. Currently, Dr. Sinha is Bhumi Bhava Chair, Professor, Department of Atomic Energy. At Atomic Energy, right. Dr. Sinha has represented India in several important forums of the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA. These include the steering committee of the IAEA's International Project on Innovative Nuclear Reactors and Fuel Cycles in Pro, of which he was the chairman for four years. Dr. Sinha was conferred the honorary doctorate of science DSC degree by University of Mysore. He has received awards and honors including the first Omi Bhava Science and Technology Award, Waswick Award, Indian Nuclear Society Award, and DAE Special Contributions Award. He recently received Prime Minister's Special Award for his contributions to the Pokhran's 98 test. And I will request all of you to quit.
He was elected a fellow of the Indian National Academy of Engineering in 1998. He has published several research papers in various international journals. And with this brief overview of his vital, I would now request Dr. Sinha to deliver.